welcome to another exciting Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. And in this video, we are going to create a nice uh, looking minimap here using a UI. So let's get to it. Okay, I've set up a small project here and we have two different scenes and I'm going to show you two different examples. And the first one is the normal movement where the camera is following the player but it doesn't follow the direction. So like a top down or an isometric game. And the second one, it's more a third-person game. And uh, we are going to cover on how to create a minimaps for these two different situations. So let's just start it. Uh, first, I'm going to go to the scripts folder. And we are going to create two new different scripts. And the first one will be an enemy map. And the other one will be the minimap. And the script here is going to be attached to each of the enemy that are moving around on our scene. And this minimap is going to be the manager. And we are going to attach this to a canvas object that handles the display or the rendering of the minimaps below here. For the enemy map, we are going to de delete the update method. And we want to create a new public field, which is the float scale. And then the other field would be a color and the color indicator. You can just call this color. And I'm going to set this value to a default red value. New color, value of 1 on the red channel, 0 on the green channel, 0 on the blue channel, and 1 on the alpha channel. Uh, we need to register this class here on the minimap script, but we need to create the minimap first. So let's just open the minimap script. And inside the minimap script, we are going to declare a couple of fields. And first, it's a static reference to this minimap class itself. So the type should be minimap. And I'm going to call this instance. And since this is a property, I'm going to set to a public get, but to a private set. So we only can set this value here inside this class, but other classes can get this instance here. And let's just create a new void awake method. And inside this void awake, I'm going to initialize this static field reference to this script here. So this will be accessible to any other script without using the find object of type or get component. And the next thing that we want to do, we want to delete the start because we won't be using it. And I'm going to create a new public method called register enemy. And for this, I'm going to pass an enemy map class as the argument. And let's just call this enemy. But before we are going to continue working on this register enemy, we need to declare a couple of fields first. So the first field would be a serialized field type of transform and this would be the player on scene and the other field would be a rec transform since this is a UI object and this would be the player on map and then we want to also create a private list of transform and this would be the enemies and we need to declare this and then we want to also create a private list and this will be a type of rec transform and let's just call this enemies on map and let's just initialize this also and save this and now and when we register an enemy we want to add the enemy transform the enemy transform from this enemy map object here to the list enemies here. So let's just type enemies add the enemy dot transform. And we want to instantiate a new UI object here, the player map. We want to duplicate this and then instantiate this and then set that instantiated object as the enemies indicator on map. So I'm going to call this temp and then I'm going to instantiate sorry instantiate and then for the object I'm going to just duplicate the player on map dot game object since the player on map is a rec transform then I want to grab the game object reference 
and then for the parent I'm going to set this to the player on map itself and then we want to set the color of this duplicate object to the color from our enemy class here from this variable so let's just grab the temp get component type image and then access the color equal to the enemy dot color and you see that we have an error because we need to implement or we need to using the UI namespace so let's just use this using unity engine.ui and it will add that namespace to this class here and we want to also set the transform the local scale equal to vector1 vector3.1 and we want to multiply this with the enemy dot scale and the last thing that we want to do is we want to add the rect transform component to the enemies on map list here so let's just type enemies on map add tem dot get component rect transform and the temp game object should have a rect transform attached to it since we are duplicating from the player on map uh, game object which we are referencing by its rect transform here and now we want to loop through the enemies on scene and then move the enemies on map uh, coordinate accordingly so let's just create a for loop here and for the length I'm going to type enemies dot not length sorry dot count since it's a list and we want to create a new method to handle the drawing of the UI or the minimaps on the screen so let's just type void align position and then I'm going to pass the integer of the index I here so when we run the method we can pass the integer and we can loop through the enemies member so let's just declare a variable enemy and then uh, we are going to grab the enemies index of I here so it's easier to uh, refer inside this method here and for the other the indicator I'm going to call this indicator and then refer this to the enemies on map index of I and below here we want to check if the enemy sorry not enemies but the enemy is not null and at the same time we want to make sure also the indicator is not null then we want to do the alignment here inside this if statement we want to create a new vector tree and let's just call this relative position and here for the relative position we want to set this to the enemy that position but we want to subtract this with the player sorry the player on scene position so it's relative to the player and then we want to adjust the indicator position which is the anchored position here since this is a rec transform object and it's a factor 2 here so we want to create a new new vector 2 object here and then we want to pass the relative position dot x and for the y we want to pass the relative position dot z and here I'm going to create a new serialized field which is the type of float and I'm going to call this scale and then I'm going to multiply this with the scale value here so let's just set this value to default of one and now it's done we can test this out so let's go back to unity here inside the unity uh, let's create a new image UI image and this will be the uh, minimap so let's just adjust the canvas first set this to scale with screen size and I'm going to set the reference resolution and set the width and height to a match of uh, middle point between width and height and for the image I'm going to call this minimap let's put this on the bottom right area here so I'm going to change its size first to 300 by 300 
and then using the anchor preset I'm going to move this to the bottom right by holding alt button and then give an offset a bit from the edge and we want to also prepare a circle and a diamond sprite from the create assets menu here so create sprites and then create a circle and then hexagon okay so now for the uh, minimap we want to drag the circle and use the sprite mesh enable the use sprite mesh option so the circle gets shown here and let's change this to a color of green uh, we want to also add another image and for this image here I'm going to, is to set this to a value of 20 by 20 for the width and height so it's very small and then I'm going to set this color to a yellowish color I'm going to change the green to a darker green let's just call this player and then uh, we want to also add a mask but we want to show the mask graphic so the green circle will get shown regardless but if we move the player here as you can see when it leaves the parent it doesn't get rendered as you can see here but if we set this back to zero it will get rendered again for the player I'm going to set this to also circle and use the sprite mask also okay now we can add the minimap script to this uh, minimap game object so let's just drag this here and for the player on map we want to drag this player game object inside the UI canvas and for the player on scene we want to drag the player game object and save this okay so there are a couple things that we need to do in the script I forgot we need to run the align position method and pass the index of I here and then on the enemy map we need to register it so let's just access the minimap dot instance dot register enemy and pass this class here type this it will pass this object here and save this now let's go back to unity and let's just put the enemy map to the enemy game object okay let's set its scale on the minimap to around 0 0.7 so the indicator will be smaller than the player and save this so the enemy is basically an object with a navmas agent and it's moving uh, randomly using this enemy script and now let's give it a try here you see that we have the enemy here and it's very near to the player but if we move away you see it will get uh, farther but the scale is very small here so if we go to the minimap uh, game object here you see we can change the scale and it will change the scale I found in uh, with this uh, perspective or the distance of the camera 7 it's the best value here so we can see the enemy on the edge and when we get closer it will get closer okay so here I've loaded the third person scene here and I've already copied all the canvas and the minimap here and we need to create a slight adjustment here for the minimap I want to add a, another image just duplicate this player here and this will be the direction and for the direction I'm going to drag the diamond shape to the source image of our map and here I'm going to move this on the Y position and probably scale this stretch this a bit and yeah I think this should be okay so we have a clear indications on the direction of the player and now we are going to modify the minimap script so let's open the minimap script again and I'm going to add a new boolean here and this will be a value of boolean a type of boolean and let's just call this a uh, relative direction and here we're going to create a simple modification basically if using the relative direction boolean or the relative direction boolean is 
true, then we want to use a different value for the relative position. And for the relative position, we want to use the player on scene, but we want to invert the transform position point. And this is basically transform the world space to local space. And here we want to pass the enemy position. And we want to add an else statement. And this is for the normal or the previous way of doing it. So save this. So this is the only uh, modification that we need to do. So this is basically will take the position relative to the player and also will take account the rotation or the direction the player is currently facing. So let's just save this, head back to Unity and inside the minimap game object, we want to enable the relative direction and set the scale also to seven and save this. And now if I press play, you see that the enemy is moving around. But if we rotate this, you see the enemy is moving to the other side. So it will always stay relative to the player position and also to the direction, which is quite nice for a third person game. And the neat thing with this, whenever you add an enemy, for example, here, I'm going to duplicate the enemy a couple of times and I'm going to move the other enemy to the other position. This will automatically update the minimap because all of the enemy has the enemy map component attached to it and it will automatically register all of the enemies to this minimap here. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Mm -hmm.